Hello there, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you on a talking tour of my dining room decorated with my favorite tacky Christmas decor, which I absolutely love. I hope you're going to like it too, so let's get started. So here's my dining room decorated with my tacky Christmas decor. <laughs> I am absolutely loving it. It's a little bit of a cloudy day today, so hopefully the lighting won't be too bad for you. But I decided to pick a room this year that I could enjoy every single day. Last year, I decorated this theme up in like my TV room, but I just don't get into that room to enjoy it on a daily basis. But this room, I walk by countless times throughout the day, so it is so much fun to be able to enjoy it more often. So let's go ahead, we'll start with the table, and then we'll just kind of go around the room and I'll show you what I've done up close and personal. So first off, I put down my Christmas tablecloth. This one is my favorite. I have quite a few of them, but I just love the design of this with the Santas, the trees, the bells, and then I really love the red center. So I always seem to use this one year after year <laughs> instead of my other ones because I like it so much. Then I set up a couple place settings. I um, only have two chairs in this room and a lot of people think that's kind of silly, but we don't really eat here as a family. It's more of just a couple of us will sit down in here or it's a crafting area most of the time. So I just have the two chairs with the two place settings and I just think it is so cute. So for the dishes, I use some of my ironstone for my collection. I love this shape. I think it is so cool. It's by Johnson Brothers. I think I have four plates and four of the bowls. I'm on the lookout for some of the uh, cups to go with it. One of these days I'll probably find it. And then I just paired it with this adorable little mug, also found from the thrift store. I guess I should say this before I get going too much further into <laughs> today's video, but I would say 99% of everything in this room is from the thrift store, so I won't keep saying that over and over. I'll let you know if something is not from the thrift store. So just keep that in mind as we go through the room. So anyways, I used the cute little teacups and then I put in a little vintage napkin, which has more of the berries and lots of pops of red. I didn't think those are so pretty and they go nicely with the table. And then of course I had to use my Starburst silverware. Don't you just love it? Love it, love it, love it. So I have that sitting there as well. And then I have these little goblets. I want to say they're Wexford, but I don't know for sure. But I think they're pretty. So I decided to use those as well. For the centerpiece, I started with a milk glass cake plate. And then I filled it with bottle brush trees. I love bottle brush trees. And I thought the white would be nice because it wouldn't compete with the tablecloth quite so much as maybe like the green colored ones or some red ones. Then I used some sugar. I just poured it around the trees to act as some snow. And then I added these cute little deer. These are from Target. They're in their ornament section. You get a three pack of them, I believe, um, in different colors. I think they have white and they have the pink. So I just combined two packages and used some of those. So I think it turned out super cute. And then because I'm always looking for a way to use vintage cards, I just tucked in a few cards around at the base of the cake plate. So I have that cute little one right here. Isn't it adorable with the little choir boys singing? And then I have this one right here. Let's see. This one. This one is one of my favorites as well. Doesn't she just look so cute? I like totally want her outfit. <laughs> so there's that one as well. And then finally, because I love the bells, I included this one as well. I love these cards. I found them like years ago and they all have cute little designs on the inside as well. I think it is so much fun. Vintage Christmas cards are one of my favorites. <laughs> and then finally, to add a little bit of sparkle to the table, I added these gorgeous candlesticks with the poinsettias on it. I love these. I think I found these like three years ago and have used them every single year since. And then finally, I used some um, flameless candles. 
I just purchased these not too long ago off of Amazon. I love the fact that they have the twist on them, like old vintage candles. Hopefully that shows up. These are great. They have a timer and you can also have a push button on and off on the bottom. So you can turn them on and off and it looks like that. You can also set them as a steady or you can make them flicker like candlelight, which is what I prefer. And I just love it. Here's a little behind the scenes trick for you. The candle holder itself has a really large opening. So my candles kept like flopping over. What I did to help out the situation is cut very small strips of paper towel and then wrapped it around the base of the candle. And then I just tuck it in there and it stays perfectly straight. It's wonderful. So moving over to the hutch, I started by adding this bottle brush wreath. I bought this last year at Hobby Lobby. I believe they have them again this year. Then I hung um, one of my vintage stockings on one side, and then I have this garland draped over the top. This is a faux um, popcorn and cranberry garland. It's just plastic. I found it at the thrift store and thought it was super cool. I couldn't pass it up. So I have that draped across the front of the hutch. And then you can see on the other side, I have another one of my stockings that I love. I have quite a growing collection of them. I think I maybe have like 10 so far. So I like them so much. I think they're so much fun. On the top of the hutch, I started by adding this paint by number that I finished last month to use for uh, my Christmas decorating. I had to really work hard and fast on this to get it done, but I absolutely love it. I think it is so cool. And then I also have this card that I found at a Where'd I find this? Oh, like an antique store. I thought it was really cute. It's not an old one, but it's got that feel. And it's from Hallmark, probably from a couple years ago. But I thought it was really cute. So I tuck that up in there as well. It's kind of wanting to close up on me, but oh well. And then I have these bottle brush trees that are red and white on either side of the painting. Can't remember where I got them from, but it was a few years ago. And I want to say they were from Hobby Lobby like an after Christmas sale, I'm pretty sure. So I've had those for a while, love those. I think they're so pretty. And then finally, I have this little Santa honeycomb that I found at the thrift store as well. Isn't it cute? Just love him. So I wanted to use him, so I tucked him up there for sure. I do have a few items inside the hutch as well. Not a whole lot, just a few things that I wanted to use, but I didn't know where else to put. On the top shelf, I have this cute little deer figure. He's actually a salt and pepper shaker. And then I have these two little girls dressed up for the holidays. So over on the other side, I have the matching deer salt and pepper shaker. And then I have this little set here of angels. On the next shelf down, I have another salt and pepper shaker set that are deer. These ones have cute little bow ties. This one has a red one. And then this little guy has a little green bow. So I've added those. And then I've just added a few vintage ornaments on top of my butter pat stacks. Isn't this gorgeous? I just love it. So I have those sitting there. So on the bottom shelf, I have this trio of mice that are dressed up for Christmas. This is one of my favorite sets. So I had to use it somewhere and I wanted it to be really safe. I didn't want the dogs to be able to get at it. So that is why it's in the hutch. And then over on the other side, so you can see it when the doors are closed, I have this adorable little bell. And then I made this little sign, I guess you would call it, from a vintage napkin. I have a tutorial on how I made these um, out of napkins and vintage cards. So I will link that down below. Then moving on to the window section of the room, I have a piano bench that I have draped with a gorgeous tablecloth that was sent to me by one of my subscribers. 
And don't you just love it? It's so gorgeous. I love the fringe on the bottom. And then it's got the Noel and it's got the little candles, which I love. Cute little scalloping. And then it has these cute little trees, white trees on a red background in the middle. I think it is so cool. I wish I had a circle table to like put it on. <laughs> One of these days I'll have it. But for now, it's nice as a little covering for this piano bunch. Adds an extra little softness and a little more pop of color because that's what it's all about at Christmas, right? Color and sparkle. And then I have my lovely ceramic trees. I re thought I recorded this earlier when I was recording during the daytime, but when I was editing, this part didn't get filmed. So <laughs> the lighting is totally different now. I apologize for that. But I definitely wanted to be able to share these with you. The green one and the white one are newer versions from walmart on a couple different years i don't know if they have them this year because my walmart that i go to on a regular basis does not have a full christmas section so they may still have them i'm not really sure the other two this one right here and this one were both found at the thrift store which i was thrilled about the two newer ones are battery operated and they have timers which i absolutely love the other two do not. This one has a plug-in, this one does not. So what I have decided to do instead of using the plug-ins is I take a little string of lights on a battery pack and basically just stuff it in the bottom like so. Hopefully you can see that, like that. And then set it, the timer to come on when the other two come on. It works out perfectly, you guys. So that way I don't have to have, like I don't even have an outlet on this wall. So this works really, really well for me. It's a little hard to see that they're lit up right now because it's so bright in here right now, but I love how that works out. So just thought I would share that little tip with you guys. And I just love these little trees. On the windows, I've hung my two plastic Santa, um, I think they're called popcorn. I'm not really sure what they're what they're called, but you'll see them around. I remember them from when I was a kid. My mom found these two for me at a garage sale, if you can believe that. And then at the very top of the windows, I don't know if this is gonna show up very well, but I added some tinsel garland, which is a prerequisite, I believe, to any tacky Christmas decor. I found this garland at Hobby Lobby, I think last year. I love that it had the red, the green, and the silver in it. So I think it's really pretty for tinsel. <laughs> Next up is the desk corner. And this I have packed a lot of stuff into. So over here, the first thing I did was hang three candle wreaths on the wall. And I think they look really pretty. I love finding these at the thrift store. They're one of the top items that I'm always looking for because they're always so unique and I just love them. So I thought this would be a fun way to use some of the ones that I don't normally get out because I don't have room for them. So then on the top of the desk I have some fun items. This little raccoon guy is adorable with this little wreath. I love this right here. I think it is so cool. I found this probably five or six years ago. It's a little wall hanging and I just think it is so cool because I love the, you know, vintage candle motif. So I thought that was perfect for me. And as well as this tin right here, I think it is really pretty. This paper angel I found last year, and this just brings me back because my mom had a few of these when I was growing up. And it's, last year I used it by just hanging it on the wall, but this year I actually set it up as it's supposed to be. And I just think she's so adorable. I would love to find some more of those. Next to the angel, I have a card holder, which has been thrifted, and I have it filled with a whole bunch of vintage cards. I actually totally lucked out this year and found two boxes of vintage cards, which I was super thrilled about, and these are just some of the ones that were in there. My favorites, of course, I love this one right here, and that one, and this one, I think are my favorites. But then this one with the little fireplace, how cute is that? It even has the little candles and little pops of red. I just think it's really cute. And then we have the main section of the desk and I have found another candle wreath. I love that this one is in red and white. I think that's so cool. And then I have this really fun vintage 
um, candle, which I found a couple of years ago. I just love it. Love the candy cane motif. So I've got that stuck down in there. Over on the other side, I have a cute little candle holder with little girls that are playing some instruments with a little twist candle, which is barely hanging on. It is broken in half, but somehow if you set it just right, it sits and looks okay. So I'm using that with that. It actually came together um, at the thrift store like that. So I wanted to try to keep it together as much as possible. And then I have a lovely poinsettia tin also from the thrift store. And then finally the little deer is actually from my grandmother. I have maybe a handful of either standing or sitting deer that are just plastic. And that was one of the things that I remember from her house when I was little. So I am so happy to have those. And then way back in the pigeonholes, I have two more signs that I made. I made this one from a vintage card. And then this one over here is from a vintage um, napkin. And then I have this cute little dog figurine. And then I tucked in this little sprig with little ornament. I think I got that. I can't remember where I got that from. I've had it for a couple of years, but it's a nice little accent. And then finally hanging from the front of the desk, I have two more of the stockings. These both have tree motifs on it, which I think is really fun. And then finally we have this remaining wall in the room and this is where the hutch is. And it also holds most of the decor in this room. And I am loving how it turned out. It's just a whole bunch and I just love it. So first off, we have a few girl figures, which I love collecting. I have this one here with her little songbook. Isn't she cute? Then this one is my favorite. She's a little angel. I just love her coat. And look at her little hat. So adorable. And then she's got a little pair of ice skates with her as well. So anyways, I put that on top of the little tin that I found at the thrift store. And then these red flocked flower brush trees I have had for years. I can't even remember where I got them, but there's three of them and these other two smaller ones. And then this one here is from Hobby Lobby. I bought that last year. They have them this year as well. The little Santa right here is thrifted. I can't remember. Oh, yep, this one is the piggy bank. I just think he's a cutie. He's one of my favorite Santas. And then I have this shadow box, which I made years ago. It's just red and white striped um, scrapbook paper. It's got the little Merry Christmas sticker. And then the um, picture is actually from an old... Um, night before Christmas storybook that I had at the time and I just mounted it and matted it on white paper and I love getting it out every single year it just makes me happy so I love that on this shelf we start with the Merry Christmas Santa tray in the back this is a metal tray found at the thrift store in front of it are these two adorable deer figures these were my grandmother's and I'm so happy to have them I actually um, broke the little leg off this guy last year and it glued them back on. They are so fragile. I don't know if there are markings on it. Nope, there's no markings on them. But I know they've been around a while since they were my grandmother's and I just love them so much. And then on this side, this little cute deer was sent to me by a subscriber. And then this is actually an ornament from Michaels. They've had them the last couple of years. I don't know if they had them this year or not. Um, yeah, I just haven't got there to look. And then this bottle brush tree is also from Hobby Lobby that I picked up last year. I know they have some this year as well. And then this side is just kind of a mirror image of the other side where I've got the little deer, the little ornament, and the bottle brush tree. So on this shelf, I started with this plastic tray that I found at the thrift store. Love the poinsettias on it. And then layered in front of that, this little tinsel tree. I picked this up at an antique store probably five years ago or so. And then I have one of these little deer from my grandmother. It has to kind of like lean against the tree because one of the dogs kind of chewed 
the uh, foot off this one a couple years ago. So he's leaning on the tree, hanging out. Found this Santa boot at the thrift store along with the fabulous greenery in it. So I love this one. It's one of my favorite of the Santa boots that I have. Behind it, I just have a bottle brush tree from Walmart from a couple years ago. I'm pretty sure they got something similar this year as well. On the opposite side, I have another Santa boot. And this one has a cute little Santa hanging off the back. I just added a little sprig of flocked greenery. I'm not quite sure where I got that from, but I've had it for a few years. In the back corner, I have a box that I've had for quite a few years. It used to hold vintage cards. It may still, I can't remember. But I just love the graphics on it. I think it is so cool. So I wanted to use that. Look at that, isn't that so cool? I think this shelf is probably one of my favorites. I just love the way it turned out. We start off with a bottle brush tree from Hobby Lobby. In front, we've got this little plastic Santa and reindeer sleigh set. And then we have these cute little angels and they're each slightly different. They have matching dresses. This one holds a wreath. And then this one has a little, what do you call it? Coming to focus. There we go. Focus. There we go. This one is holding a little shoe. This one has a stack of gifts. Oh, and then I have another. I know there's four, but I somehow had another ended up with two with the little yellow boot, which is cute. Then I have some couple bottle brush trees. I found a green one. This one I found at the thrift store. And this one over here, I think I bought at Target like two, three years ago. And then behind it is this gorgeous plastic tray. Let me move the tree here so you can see it better. Look at that. I just found this tray this year for like 99 cents and I absolutely love it. The handles are, so, are these little bows, which I think is really cute. Love the wreath and then the holly and the leaves. I just think it is so pretty. So I'll definitely be using this around Christmas time to like serve up our what we call our marshmallow tray with like the goodies and stuff on Christmas night when we're all sitting around playing games and stuff. Um, but for now I'm going to use it as decor. This next shelf has a lot of my vintage deer collection. Um, let's see. We'll start in the back with the bottle brush wreath. That's from Hobby Lobby. Then these two little white trees are from Target Dollar Spot, I think, this year. In front of that are these little um, deer. I think I found the little baby deer by itself. A friend of mine gave me the other baby deer. And then this one, I think, was my grandmother's, if I remember correctly. And then off to the left, we have another red tree, another bottle brush tree that I think I've had that one for a while. And then these two cute deer, which were my grandmother's as well. And then on the opposite side, we've got another little baby tree from Target. And then this little guy in front was thrifted. He is from Japan. I think I found him last year, maybe the year before. I can't remember exactly. And then the two deer in the back are the deer that started it all. <laughs> these were my grandmother's. My mom gave these two to me first and I absolutely fell in love with them. And then since she has given me the other deer that were my grandma's, but yeah, I love them. They hold a very special spot in my heart. And then we have the Santa shelf. Um, in the back is a plastic tray from the thrift store. It's got the poinsettias on it. And then I've added some tins to add different heights in here, all of which are thrifted and I just love them. This one here has like three different or four different scenes on it. And I picked the horse with the sleigh. This one just has the leaves and the berries. And then this one over here has got like a bell on some greenery. And I just think they're all very, very pretty. So all of the Santas here have been thrifted. So I'll just kind of like hold each one up so you can see a little better up close. So you have this little guy right here. <laughs> and then there's this one. I forgot to put a little something 
in his sack. Um, I was going to put some greenery or something in there, but I totally forgot to do that. So there's this one. Then we've got this little guy right here. I think he's so cute. He's one of my favorites. I just like his size and I just like the style of him. Then we've got a little kissing Santa. I think that I've seen this set before and there's supposed to be a um, Mrs. Claus and they're supposed to like be kissing, but I don't have her. I just have him. And then we have this guy right here. And then behind, this one is actually a candle. It looks like this. <laughs> In the very front are these teeny tiny little Santas and they're all doing a little something different. Like he's down on one knee. Let's see, he's down on one knee with his hands up. Oop. This little Santa is doing the splits. And this little guy is like waving, I think. I'm not really sure. <laughs> then we have this Santa over here. I believe I found this one just last year. He's pretty cute. And then we have this one, which is like a little kid dressed up for like Santa. He's got his little sack of toys. And then the very last Santa, which is actually one of my absolute favorites, is this guy right here. This is just a little plastic one. And he's got a little bell that he's ringing. Isn't he adorable? I just love him. On this shelf, I have some deer that were my grandmother's. This little one, this one, this one, and this one. The um, tree under the cloach is a recent thrift store find. Then I have this little white sleigh with a little bottle brush tree and some greenery tucked into it. And behind it, I have a Christmas tray thrifted. And then above it is a little brick, paper brick house. When I was a little girl, my grandma had a set of these type of bricked paper houses that she would always set up on top of her record player every single Christmas, and I was mesmerized by it. She had one, one of the houses, I had a little Santa that would pop his head up out of the chimney. Another one had a spinny thing inside of it so that it would have like different colors going past the windows. And then there was another one, but I can't remember. I don't think that one did anything, but I do remember that the windows had like little um, Santa faces on it. So anyways, I am on the lookout for more little houses like this that are brick and then they are very hard to find. I stumbled across this one, which is not in very good condition, but I was like, honey, you have to buy this for me for Christmas. And he did. So I was so, so thrilled. Um, next to it in the back is a little sign from Hobby Lobby. I think I bought it like two, three years ago. I'm pretty sure they still sell something very similar. And then the very last shelf of the hutch, I have this fantastic Santa sleigh with the white reindeer. I found this at the thrift store last year. It's supposed to actually have like a greenery pick in the back. Mine didn't come with that, but I've seen them online with the greenery on the back. But I just love it the way it is. And then I have a couple bottle brush trees. And then behind it, I have the two... Um, greeting card boxes that I found this year. I think the graphics on them are so cool. Love this one with the red and the berries and the greenery. And then this one over here I think is really pretty with the different color ornaments, the big bow and the greenery. So I absolutely had to use those in my display this year. And then way on tippy top of the hutch, I have set out some of my ornament boxes. The two on the right hand side are from my grandmother, which I absolutely adore. In the middle is a box that holds my Santa mugs that I found last year at the thrift store. And then finally over on the left side are two that I found at the thrift store in the past years or so. And then draped across the whole hutch is this fabulously tacky 
garland that I'm absolutely in love with. I found it at the Goodwill bins, I think two or three years ago. Let me give you a closer look. So it has the cute red flocked reindeer, which I absolutely love. And then of course it also has the greenery with the little berries. And then offset with the deer are these little sleighs that have greenery in them as well. Super cute. And then finally I have this little corner that I've tucked a few things into as well. The clock my mom gave to me recently, um, and I absolutely love it. It has been in the family for years and years. It used to be hanging in the old farmhouse, my, uh, my father's side of the family. So I just think it is super cool. So I've got it hung here. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of wall space in this house. Below the clock, I have this little angel die cut that I found at an antique store last year. I just think she's so cute. I like her little ribbon with the little stars at the bottom. And then I love the fact that she's holding a red candle. So she's adorable and I definitely wanted to add her. And then finally, I have this chair that I recently found at the thrift store and I absolutely love it. It's such a cool design. Oh, you can see a little better. Isn't that cool? I love it. Um, this pillow is just an Ikea um, feather um, insert that I made a quick little pillow cover for. I have a tutorial on how I make all my pillow covers. I just bought this fabric at, um, I think, Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and I thought I liked it because it had a nice little um, vintage-y flair to it. You can see a little better there. Isn't it cute? And then finally, in front of the pillow, I just wrapped up this empty box to make a little gift that I could like decorate with. The paper is from Home Goods this year, and I think it is so cool. It has like different Santas on it and lots of different trees and that sort of thing. Um, I know last year they had a same version pretty much like this, but the background instead of being red was white. I had some of it, but I used all of it up. So I was super thrilled to see the red version this year when I went. And then on top, instead of a ribbon or a bow, I decided to use a candle ring. And this one is a vintage one that I found. I love that it's got like the white tips on the greenery and then the pine cones and a little bit of glitter from the silver bells or silver ornaments. So, and I just have it sitting on top. It's not like attached or anything. So that way I can reuse it at another time. So that, my friends, is my tacky Christmas decor for this year. I absolutely love how it turned out. I hope you guys did as well. If you have not yet seen my full Christmas tour of the rest of the rooms that I decorated as well, I will have that listed down below for you guys. And then I also have been doing a little thrifting and have been finding a few vintage um, decor items to add to this room. So I will be having another um, thrift with me haul very soon and then I'll share with you where I put those items in this room if you're interested in that. So be looking out for that in the next week or so. And one more quick thing before I go today. If you enjoy looking at vintage Christmas decor, I happened to stumble upon a new to me channel this past week called the Vintage Soul Thrifter and they have a fabulous Christmas tour. I will link it down below. You definitely want to check it out. It is awesome. So I guess that is going to be it for me today. I would love to know what you think down in the comments. Hit that thumbs up, share this video, and of course, have yourself a fabulous day. Bye now.